Welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing the Snowy Backdrop Die, and it is five and a half by four and a quarter, which means it is the size of a standard size card, and this is what it cuts out. It's this awesome starry snowy background. You also get all these little pieces that are great to save for shaker cards. I love saving them. And then here you can see how you can layer a cardstock behind. So this is white on white. Here's white on blue. You could do blue on white. You can get creative with lots of cool colors. And then another thing that you can do with this die is create your own stencil. So I just cut this from a piece of acetate and I'll show you how that works later. Here I went ahead and used the snowy backdrop die to cut this turquoise piece of cardstock. I'll go ahead and push out all those little pieces and save them for a shaker card. And then I trimmed my piece down to five and a quarter by four. I'm using some multi-matte liquid glue to glue this down to my white cardstock and that's because I don't want tape runner to show through those all those stars and little holes so I just use glue all the way around those and it's a great way to do it. Here you see I'm just trimming off the edge because I wanted the white edge to line up perfectly since there are some holes that kind of fall off the edge of the piece so it, for me it was the easiest way to do it because I could never trim one to the exact right size. Here I use the stitch till side border dies to cut two little snowy hills and I'm going to layer those on top of my card base just with some easy, you know, tape runner there. And then now I'm going to use some pieces from Toboggan Together. And I had colored these previously, and I will link to the Toboggan Together video where I colored these. Um, I had them all ready to go for a card, so I love having stuff kind of pre-colored so I'm ready to make cards whenever I have a little bit of time. And I thought it would be fun to have one penguin throwing a snowball at the other one. So I'm going to layer that little Santa hat on top, which will go with our little red border that's going to go around this card. And then I can put his little snowball mountain down and then use some foam adhesive to put down the two penguins and a double foam for the, for the little snowball so it really looks like it's flying. Here I use some lobster ink to stamp my sentiment and that sentiment strip is five and a quarter long. So I'm going to have it go all the way across that snowy backdrop die piece. I usually like to do flagged ends so I thought it'd be fun to do something different where it actually went end to end. Now I can go ahead and layer that onto a card base and use some Wink of Stella glitter pen here to add to my snowballs and to the Santa hat. And so now here is this cute little card. It's really quick and easy to make and that snowy backdrop really helps make cute, quick and easy cards and tags and all sorts of things. Now here is that stencil I made from acetate. And so I just had this random watercolor piece I had practiced on one day. And so I'm taping the piece down, the watercolor piece down and the stencil down to make sure that it doesn't move at all. So I'm just using some post-it note tape there and just I will hold that stencil perfectly. And then this is some silver delicata ink, any silver ink would do, and a little foam dauber. And I'm pushing it into the ink and then pouncing it onto the stencil. So I'm not rubbing it across, but I'm pouncing it across all of those little openings. And I'll cover the entire piece with that silver ink. And then once it's done, I can lift up that piece and you're going to see how cool it looks underneath. Now I'll use a baby wipe to clean that stencil off so I can use it for another project one day. And then here is a look at what that looks like. So I love that this die can have two uses, both as the die or also for creating your own cool stencils and any color would look really cool with that. So this is the snowy backdrop die and it cuts not only that backdrop but a five and a half by four and a quarter standard size piece. So it's perfect for making cards. And here you can see the whole thing cut out. It's also great for making stencils. And even though this is stars and snow, when you use different colors, it could be confetti, it could be a night sky, just like this. So this backdrop has uses all year round. I cannot wait to see what you guys create with this die, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye. <laughs>